Okay guys, welcome back to my Poise tutorial series. Uh, in part one, we just built a very simple drum kit and I also showed you guys how I have my Poise set up, uh, my defaults and everything. So right now we're just going to build uh, an MPC styled um, chop kit basically, like just a bunch of soul chops. Uh, you guys will know what, I'm, what I mean when you hear the stuff. So I basically have a folder here, it just has a lot of cool one shot soul samples like pianos, guitars, FX and stuff. It's from a from a library that I did purchase. I don't tour and stuff, so um, these are all sample loops or not sample loops, but sample one shots. So I'm just gonna drag a total of 16 into each poise cell. So we're gonna audition it over here. I'll start with piano one and two, putting that there. Listen to that one. Put it there. There's a cool little stop. Sounds good. A little piano run. Put that there. Put this here. Put that here. I'm not even listening to these. I'm just kind of just throwing them in there. Little sax, I guess. Some piano sax. It's like a cool little chill thing. I really like that. Yeah, there we go. That flute sounded better. stuff so I'm basically just dragging each of these one-shot samples into poise now from here we need to configure some stuff now if we play if we hit our, our MIDI controllers pads everything's all chaotic you know we hit everything and it's just like everything's totally blending into each other and it sounds like garbage so what we got to do is we got to either put these in a choke group or we have to make everything so it's monophonic. So here's why I really like Poise. Check us out. You can't really do this with Machine, and I'm a hardcore Machine user. I really love Machine for making hip hop and stuff. But with Poise, here's a, here's a huge advantage. You highlight each of these cells. All I'm doing is left clicking and dragging, okay? So basically like, I'll, I'll do it again. You could, you could drag any way you want. I'm just left clicking and dragging. So I highlighted, I highlighted every single pad in like two seconds. So from here, we can right click any of the cells and we're, we're going to change the voice mode from poly to mono. Now what this does is if I hit a pad such as this one, every time I hit it again, it cuts itself off. It re-triggers. Okay? So that's a huge thing. And since I set it to every cell, every pad I hit is going to cut itself off when I hit it you know, more than once. Now, but here's the thing, these, these pads are still blending with each other. It's all like chaos, it sounds like garbage. So what we need to do is, is again, you just highlight everything, which takes like two seconds. We're gonna go down into here where it says cut and cut by. And sometimes this confuses me a little bit, uh, but usually what I do to make things just work like, like a basic choke group is I put cut one and then I put cut by one. So basically everything's just like cut it cuts it's it's in the same choke group. So if one if choke group 1 is what we want, every time we hit a pad, you know, it cuts itself off and if we hit something else in the choke group, it cuts that pad off and it cuts itself off. So it's like it's well not not cuts itself off, but if it hits it again more than once. Whatever. It's a little confusing, but if you guys have ever used a sampler or an MPC, you guys know how this works. It's great. It's fast. Okay. So every single sample that I dragged into Poise earlier in this tutorial is now in choke group one essentially, and it's also monophonic, which means every time I hit it, it re-triggers without overlapping over itself. Okay. So so now, say I hit those two pads, and they choke each other. Okay. Any any ones I hit, any combination. And that's really important for hip hop production. So always use your choke groups and set your voice mode to, to monophonic instead of polyphonic. So that's a, just a real easy way to build a very simple uh, chop kit in poise. You know, you're just using the royalty free library, you know, just a bunch of one shots. So, so say you have a beat going in your DAW and you're just kind of, you know, just rocking out like, you know, whatever. And you're just kind of playing with your chops and you're trying to build an arrangement. 
you know. You know what I'm saying? It's that easy. It's just like using an NPC. They're like Poise is seriously better than an NPC because it's faster. It's just amazing. So I just I wanted to give you guys a, a series of tutorials because I just I'm so impressed with the workflow. Ever since I got into using Poise with Reaper, I just I'm I'm making tr I'm making crazy amount of tracks. Like every day I'm like doing like two or three tracks and it's great. I mean full tracks. You know what I mean? Like within six hours I'm putting together like three like pretty nice beats. You know about three four minutes long each. So it's just so easy and so much fun. All right, so that is basically how you build a basic uh, chop kit in Poise. Okay, guys, one thing I forgot to mention before was whether you want your sample to play as a one-shot or note on in Poise. What a one-shot is is basically when you hit the pad on your MIDI controller, the sample plays as long as it needs to, even if you let go your finger off the pad. So right there, I hit it, and then I move my hand away, and as you can see, the sample is playing. It's decaying as long as it needs to. By default, Poise makes every sample a one-shot. Every single cell right here is one shot, one shot, one shot. So if we want to make a note on instead, all we got to do is right click the pad that we want, go down to play mode, change it to note on, and now, see like, I take my fingers off and the sample gets cut off short. You hold it, if I hold my fingers on the pad, it plays for as long as it needs to. Okay, so I'm like tap, 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 hold. As you can hear, you know what I'm saying? So that's a really important function. And a lot of people are like, how do I get my samples to stop playing? Well, that's how you do it. You change it to note on instead of one shot. Again, one shot, you hit the, I'll, I'll change it back. Again, one shot, I'm gonna hit it once, I'm gonna move my, my fingers right off the pad. Okay, so it's playing as long as it needs to. And then again, note on. Okay, I'm tap, 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 holding. Okay, tap, hold, tap, hold, all right? So that's a really important function. I'm just gonna use that sample. I'm gonna kill everything else in the project except for that bottom corner sample. So all I gotta do is highlight everything with a left click drag, hit the delete key, bam, you know what I mean? So, so I got that one sample. It's still in, it's still in a choke group and it's still monophonic. Now what if I want to use this sample and spread it across like six different pads at six different pitches? Because I like the sample, but I kind of want to make it a little more musical. I want to build it from a scale. So we got that. Right? All we got to do is hold control, left click, and drag. And that's how you just copy a sample to another cell. Just left click and drag. Control click. You know what I'm saying? Same way that you would uh, you know, move pieces around in your DAW or command click for Mac but unfortunately Poise is only available for Windows as most of you guys already know but anyways so I what I did is I chopped the same sample across my bottom row on my MIDI controller and then a couple cells into the top into the, ne the next row up so all I gotta do is, is this one is set to pitch zero obviously it's unpitched no, no up or down so this one I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna pitch this up one. Okay, so I got a little chromatic action going. All right, this next one I'm gonna pitch up by two. All right, and then this next one I'm gonna hit it first because I because it has auto select, and I'm gonna pitch it up by three semitones. Okay, and then right here we're gonna go up even further because we left off at three. All right, and then this pad right here we're gonna go up even further. All right. So we have a chromatic sample that, that can be played musically. So we got, you know, say you got your beat going. You know, obviously that sounds stupid, but just to illustrate my point. You know, it's so easy to just build on like uh, one sample and changing the pitch and you could do a lot of cool stuff with it. All right. So that's, that's what you can do with that.